This guide shows you how to get rid of a stubborn virus using Windows Defender, the free antivirus that's supplied with Windows 10 and is activated if you have no other antivirus installed on your system. So, as I say, if you're running Windows 10 and you've got Windows Defender as your antivirus and you find there's a, vi a particular virus on there that it just can't get rid of, this will show you how you can remove it. So all you do is click on the start button in the bottom left hand corner of the screen, type the word virus on your keyboard and then after a few seconds under best match you should see virus and threat protection. Move your mouse over that, left click once. Then the virus and protection center appears. Go down to scan options, which is just below quick scan and left click once, and then scroll down to Microsoft Defender offline scan. Just click in the circle just to the left of that. Then move your mouse over scan now, left click once, okay, and it will say save your work. Microsoft Defender offline scan will take some time and restart your device. Save all your work before continuing. So it will shut Windows down and it's gonna run a scan from outside of Windows. This will hopefully get around the back of the virus and get rid of it. So move your mouse over the word scan, left click once, okay. And then it says, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Well, make sure it says Windows security there and make sure the verified publisher says Microsoft Windows. If that's true, then move your mouse over Yes, left click once. Okay, and then it says you're about to be signed out. Windows will shut down in less than a minute. So leave it, Windows will shut down. As you can see, mine's restarting now. And uh, please be patient with this because it will take some time. It's doing a scan from outside of Windows. So uh, just leave it, don't interrupt it, don't try and stop it, don't try and power off at this, this particular moment. So here we go, my machine is now restarting. So here we go, it's now restarting and it's now saying, please wait. Again, this bit might take a bit of time. And here we go, it's now initializing Microsoft Defender offline, which as I say, it's gonna do a scan of the computer whilst Windows isn't running to try and get to that virus and uh, kill it. Sometimes these viruses, they're quite complicated on the system and they might put other programs on the uh, on the system which uh, when you try and remove the virus might block you from, from doing so. So uh, this makes sure that everything's shut down and hopefully it can get to uh, the virus and uh, delete it. So this will go for a little while with the green bar going across here, again, Please be patient with it. Don't try and interrupt it. Don't try and turn the system off. Just leave it. It's got a lot of work to do at the moment. In fact, I'm gonna pause this video and we'll come back to it when the next bit starts. Okay, so the next part's started here and it's a basic sort of DOS window. It says your PC is being scanned. This might take a while. When it's done, your PC will restart. So it gives you a percentage here. It tells me there it's 5% complete. So once again, I'm gonna pause this video and we'll come back to it. So there you go, the testing has now finished and I'm guessing it never found anything on mine because it didn't come up and say anything, but I wasn't expecting it to find anything. Um, simply because I'm, I'm just using this as an example on how to uh, run it. I didn't have any malicious software on the PC, but as you'll see, it's now restarting just as normal. But if you did wanna check to see whether or not it's picked anything up, once Windows is rebooted, click on the start button and when the start menu appears just type virus once again and then after a few seconds under best match it will say virus and threat protection left click that once then the virus threat and protection center will appear i guess in here you just click protection history and that will tell you about any of the latest protection actions and recommendations from Windows security. So as you can see there, it says no recent actions. So I'm guessing there it never found anything on mine, but hopefully if uh, yours has got a, uh, a nasty virus, then hopefully that will remove it or certainly help remove it. Once it has removed it, I would say for the next few days, go into the virus and threat protection and run a quick scan or even click on scan options there and run a full scan just a few times every other day, just in case the virus definitions don't know about 
certain parts of that virus and they might pick it up a few days later. So there you go, I hope this guide helps and thanks very much for watching. You can follow me on Twitter at CWTech, that's at CWTech on Twitter. And don't forget to check out my other videos in my YouTube channel, just Google Chris Waite YouTube. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for your support.